Well, my name is Mehul Doshi. Uh, I'm responsible for the country business uh, for products and solutions. Uh, been 22 years of uh, overall experience, uh, more on the data center side of business, on uh, server, storage, network, and so on and so forth. For the next few minutes, uh, in this track, uh, what we're going to cover is the hardcore solutions uh, which allows us to get into the digital transformation. So I'm going to talk about what is Fujitsu because most of the times uh, people over here would not know what Fujitsu is all about, where Fujitsu is coming up. So I'm going to talk about a slide on Fujitsu. Second thing I'm going to talk about is uh, the, the, the wave, the digital transformation wave which enabled this IoT solutions, the digital transformations, this artificial learning, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and so on and so forth. And what solutions of Fujitsu will enable you to or allow you or bring you to the opportunity where you can get digital transformations at your customer place at, at, or, or at your organizations. So that's what we're going to talk about. Fujitsu is a glance. First thing, it's the Japan's largest IT organization. It's number four in the world. Okay? As we speak, the turnover of Fujitsu is 40 billion. We uh, established in the year 1935, 1,55,000 employees. 3.8% of our revenue, it means if I'm talking about 40 billion, I'm talking about almost 2.8 billion of revenue just goes in R&D. It means we are extremely, extremely highly focused upon technologies and developing our products. We have more than 1 lakh patents as we speak as of right now. The Fujitsu group uh, almost holds 97,000 patents as I spoke to you, uh, talking about more than 50% of Fortune 500 customers. A global delivery capabilities, we have more than 100 data centers. It means when we talk about data centers to you, we own data centers, 100 of them across the globe. So we understand completely how the servers are made, how the storage is made, what is the noise level, what is the cooling level, and what are the parameters which goes building up the data center. And out of this 100 data centers, more than 25 will be offering our cloud services. Fortune 500 named Fujitsu once again, the most admired organization to work for. We do everything in ICT. So whatever you talk about in ICT, which is the next slide, we do it. So you ask me uh, whether it is, talk, this is the laser, okay, okay, perfect. Whether you talk about business solutions, uh, on, the, on the third track, we're talking about business solutions, which is related to the SAP, related to the Oracle, related to the Microsoft, related to the ServiceNow, and so on and so forth. Industry solutions, innovative solutions. You talk about business consulting, you talk about information management, you know, innovations. A space application, you're talking about hardware as a services, you're talking about service desk, you're talking about automation, you're talking about public product related services. The entire layer, what you can see in over here, you can get it under the umbrella of Fujitsu. So you talk about application, you talk about managed services, you talk about business application services, everything what could happen or what you could ever think about could come up over here. Last but not the least is the product business which we lead. So all these applications, all these services beneath what it stands by is a robust product line. Robust product line which is still manufactured in Germany. So none of the products comes in from China or from Taiwan or from whichever part of the country. But it comes in from Germany. So we have robust servers, the range of servers which Malaysia is going to talk about. Storage systems, extremely, extremely robust which comes in from Japan. Talk about industry specific solutions, which is converged and hyper converged app appliances, client computing devices, higher end workstations, where we work extremely closely with NVIDIA and so on and so forth. The PRS, the network software and integrated systems. The entire gamut, gentlemen, the entire gamut. Okay, you talk about the application, you talk about services, you talk about product, everything comes up over here to give you as an overall experience of nice city. That's Fujitsu. The digital waves, okay. So, where did our industry come in from? The first wave was the internet wave, everybody knows about it, right? The second wave which came up was from the perspective of the mobile internet. It means everybody, I don't think so anybody in this room still would have an old phone, even if they, they have the old phone, still the internet capabilities would be there. So this is the second wave which came in, in, our, in, our, in our lives, which made the things changed. Most of the things, be it a transaction of paying a bill or, or accessing a site or picking up an Uber or an Ola or doing multiple things comes up on your tip of your fingers. You don't have to go to your tablets and PCs. It happens via internet mobile banking. 
third wave which we are currently riding is internet of things internet of things is very simple it's convergence of physical and digital thing it's not large technology you know jargon what we talk about it's simple as convergence of digital and physical things as we speak on the third track uh, this is with specific uh, things which going up over here and during the keynote session also you heard about lot about iot devices and iot stuff it's sits under the platform of products over here last but not the least uh, as we said is the wave of artificial intelligence and robotics over here we have special services special products special applications which allows the customer to look upon artificial intelligence and robotics as we speak gentlemen uh, i just heard uh, I, i was i was having a session with the tech data team uh, and uh, probably the next month uh, we going to talk about launching a camera camera which is 150 dollars which will have artificial intelligence built in okay it means this camera is kept somewhere on your shop or on your on your on your house or on your garden or wherever it is what you want to keep it through it will remain as it is for 24 hours if there is no special movement happening but in case if for example your child starts walking the first feet it will immediately capture okay the 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 intimate movements which could happen with your children with your family or with whatever you want to see in your in your in your house it will immediately happen when you see your 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 child or your friend playing with your or meeting you after a long time and the expressions which are coming on the face it will immediately capture it will capture the feelings this is all possible by putting up artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is also coming in the cameras which is going to have it over here there was a movie which came in recently i'm sorry i'm not getting the name of that which converts which has artificial intelligence in every in each and each and every aspect of the life it means when you wake up it will say oh mr doshi you woke up okay for when you woke up it says doshi this is the time it opens the blind it makes the coffee uh, you know the, the the tea coffee maker ready with the you know the starting of the water and it's the entire experience and this is all nothing but artificial intelligence it's coming in it's coming in very shortly currently we are using more and more artificial intelligence when it comes to uh when it comes to talking about security surveillances when you talk about uh, making on the robotics on the manufacturing and so on and so forth so that's the wave of the fourth wave of artificial intelligence the solution which we have over here uh, the platform which we have over here is by the name called zinrai that's uh, my colleagues and my team is going to talk about over here uh the tools wherein we're going to change the things over here is the first is the to the tools available to make this three shifts is infrastructure solutions in infrastructure solutions we talk about digital transformations which is iot we talk about the sap hana infrastructure which will making your manufacturing unit digital we talking about integrated systems we talking about hyper converged and converged systems over here we talking about advanced service led technologies it means when we talk about service led technologies we talking about data analytics we talking about big data over here we talk about artificial intelligence which is deep learning machine learning with zenrai as i mentioned over here last but not the least is high performance computing with the entire gamut of the services the product the solutions this is the wave of digital transformation which brings into you as the customer are you with me yes good uh underneath this entire transformation we have products and solutions so we talking about data center products over here we talking about servers we talking about storage we talking about appliances we talking about client computing devices extremely strong and rugged products last but not the least high speed scanners so this is what this track is all about few customers which is the partial customer base in this country uh, over here on the on the next slide uh, on the on the larger podium you saw multiple customers who were global to us these are all local customers to us okay we have been successfully in more than 168 organizations you talk about iit bangalore you talk about iit mumbai you talk about iit mandi iit jodhpur you talk about cdac you talk about c dot you talk about you know ongc iocl gale these are the large customers having extremely high amount of iisc over here or you talking about you know istrac isac these are all large HPC customers for Fujitsu. That's a track which we are running on education and research. Manufacturing, 
which is largely to do on automotive sector. We talk about Tata Motors, Mahindra's, these are all Ma Maruti Suzuki, TVS Motors, Natrip, Toyota, Kiloskar, Man, Honda. These are again large data center customers for Fujitsu and continues the relationship and businesses over here. Uh, talking about on high performance on, on SAP, we're talking about customers like Sterlite, you're talking about Asian Paints, LNT, Tara Jewel, 3G Polymers, Balaji. These are all the customers on the SAP HANA on the on the side of manufacturing. On media and on media and energy, we're talking about customers like ONDC, IOCL, Gale, HBCL, Hindustan Times, Times of India, running in extremely mission critical applications over here, all on Fujitsu data center products. These are all partial customers, as I, as I mentioned. Top five banks, talking about a CRM solutions, running on HDFC, talking about more than 1,000 servers, running in State Bank of India, talking about you know ING, Andhra Bank, where we're running in private cloud, talking about Vijaya Bank, which is in York, Vijaya City, Canara Bank, and so on and so forth. So few government and PSUs, we're talking about ISRO, Indian Navy, Air India. I could keep on rattling the name, but these are some marquee, large customers of Fujitsu where we go introduce our technologies and they have been using our technologies for three, five and seven years. One of the key customers, these are all Fujitsu IP. So if somebody asks me for a seven year warranty, I can give it on the day one. Okay? Because I trust my product, I trust the quality where it's coming in from. And that's where we talk about a life cycle management from one year to seven years over here. Last but not the least, few large customers of global segment, which is Royal Bank of Scotland, SAP, which is right now over here, SAP Labs, Robert Bosch, Lufthansa, Symantec, again, could, could keep on going, NetApp, Emulex, and so on and so forth. So, few customer bases which are over here, and this base should allow you or make your windows open and think about that where you could utilize Fujitsu in your organization in case if you have not been using Fujitsu, but these are the trusted brands which otherwise you know in our industry which could come in through. And with this, I call my colleague Mulesh, who takes you the journey. Uh, Mulesh comes in from, he's based out of Mumbai, uh, carries an experience of two and a half decades, and is going to talk about servers, hyperconvergence, and systems from us. The big round of Mulesh over here. Thank you.